kitchen. We're not gonna go all spiel like I do every video. Um, I saw this clip, uh, this guy on TikTok calling out The Rock about what's kind of going on if, if you're not aware of what's going on. 13th service, men and women got killed in Afghanistan. And I saw this clip a couple days ago. I wrote a clip. Where's all my Hollywood heroes at? Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Over 130 million followers. You wanted nothing more but your voice to be heard. Promoting your brand, your tequila, your gym. You even stated that you wanted to be the president of this great nation. It's been 48 hours. 13 confirmed killed in Afghanistan. Where are you at now? You're being judged, not in times of comfort and convenience, but in times of trouble and trial. But now you're silent. I don't need you to respond to this video, and I don't need you to make a post. Your silence is speaking volume. And you can see in that clip, the guy basically called out The Rock. He has this big platform. He's trying to always promote a movie. He's trying to promote a, a product. But when it comes with some soldiers dying, Saving lives, being real heroes. Where is he posting it? And what I'm basically going to get at with this video, um, you know, I've never used the channel as anything talking about politics. I really have no desire to talk about stuff like that. Um, I've always made the channel where it's something where, it's always been something where at the end of the day, it's somewhat educational but having fun. And I really like to take the channel where now into the future realm of like, helping my subscribers and viewers, you know, how you guys make some money, legit making some money, uh, learning you know, like about survival stuff, being prepared for what is gonna be happening in the world, you know. I'm a positive person in the world is, as much as you try to think it's, it's not as good as you think, you know. It's just a, Stuff going on, it makes you go, oh my God. And, uh, you know, I'm like, I've never made a YouTube video. I was debating, talking about stuff that I've been seeing going on since this all started. You know, I found some really interesting clips. Uh, I shared on my Instagram, I am underscore Beowulf, if you'd like to take a look at it, and on the same name on TikTok. Uh, real footage that's coming from the source of the people there. You know, it's not a news agency, not some mainstream news. And, um, you know, I didn't want to make a YouTube video talking about that stuff. I shared it on there. Not to try to get clout of like getting people to follow me. You know, it was just basically seeing stuff and bringing people aware of what's going on way before everything got to where. 13 uh, service men and women died saving people's lives. Um, I'm, from stuff I saw in some British news, you know, when, they were, when this all went down, there, there was, they were saving a, a British family with a child. I mean, they're saving lives, saving people's lives. I made a little video, you know, I read the bios on every, the, 13 servicemen and women that die, reading their bio, learning something about them. Made a little video on TikTok, I shared on Instagram, just to bring people aware. And what upsets me, what I'm getting at about this video, because I'm not sharing something you're not aware of, is the, how upset I am with the jet ski community. Not people who are into the sport, but to people who are, you know, Kawasaki, Yamaha, Sea-Doo, Racing, 
uh, work racing, you know, like we can name all the people who are selling jet ski products that you guys all know of. And then um, uh, businesses that are, you know, working on jet skis or other YouTubers that are doing YouTube videos that you guys obviously watch. I look at the analytics knowing, you know, how, what people are following these or, you know, all that. Not one single person posted anything about these 13 service men and women that died. No post, no post on Instagram. You know, I, I, before making the video, I looked at all this stuff. I want to make sure I did my research and my, before I made a video talking about this. And I go on there, I don't see anybody posting anything. But all I see being posted is those individuals buy this, buy that. Oh, hurry, watch this, watch that. Nothing sharing about people who are making a difference in this world, saving people's lives. That, you know, one of the soldiers, he's was due to have a baby be born in a, a couple weeks. Then this kid's gonna grow up without having a father. I mean, it's just like, how, how could you not share something like that, but you had the time enough to go, oh, go, go buy this, go buy that, go watch this, go watch that. It's just not right, and that's why I'm making this video, because it just, uh, I, I'm not gonna tell people what they should do or not do, but I think like people should think twice before who they're spending money with or who they're gonna take the third time to watch what they're posting. Like for example, Sidhu and Yamaha came with new jet skis and if you notice I didn't post anything because all this going on, I was so upset about what was going on in Afghanistan. I didn't think that was a priority to be thinking it's the time to do a sell pitch or whatever with that. I just didn't think it's right. Um, I've had friends that, that served, that died in Afghanistan they never got to enjoy their life. I've had people who served in Afghanistan, they got injured, that they can't even go to like a mall without having, uh, with PTSD, having like, they can't even go to the mall. Uh, you know, their dreams in life are just shattered. And I guarantee, you know, if they're not the only people, so I'm not like going over this, but I'm like, it, it's just, being so close to 9-11 and everything that's going on and these people have no time to post about, oh, go well, look at the new shirt I'm selling or go look at, look at me, I got to see this and that, go look at that, but they can't take the time to share about what's going on and bring in awareness. I mean, the stuff that's going on there, the stuff I posted on, on Instagram, you're not gonna find it on mainstream news. And it, it's just like, it, it was shocking the stuff I saw. I mean, they left Americans there that they couldn't get to where they were, to the airport, and just left there. That's just happened today. So when this video's up, you know, like a day or two past, how long it takes to edit it. got Reva racing I guarantee you they're gonna do this post 9-11 oh oh looking like they care and again it's just a post so they can sell stuff on a holiday or a tragic day event but do they really care because they really care they post about the men and women that died service men and women that died I mean, you got Memorial Day, they're trying to look like they support the troops. Veterans Day, they try to look like they support the troops. 
and when something really happens, they're not, they're either these people, they just don't care, or they're too scared to share something. I mean, I, I keep, I try to keep everything in my life and on YouTube and all this stuff, keeping it real. I'm not fake. Uh, if I see something that's not right, I'll share it. I'm not like some sellout or kissing somebody's butt to, to, to have what people to watch, what the, the, somebody's telling me or like, you know, I speak the truth. And I really thought this all before making this video because it's just like, you know, I shared some stuff on Instagram. I saw a lot of people unfollow me for what I was sharing. And the other thing was too graphic because of the people just didn't care. And I'm not gonna be fake, like looking like it's some sales pitch where you gotta go buy this and go buy that. And especially during when there's like a huge tragedy going on. I don't know, just it, it, it rubs me the wrong way. And, and if it doesn't rub you the wrong way, what I'm talking about, man, I don't know what to tell you. Cause uh, it's just not right. I just, you know, I'm not telling anybody what you should and shouldn't do. But I think you should think twice about some of these people because I don't think they really care about about you or about what's going on in the world of you know people who are like true heroes trying to save lives and you I'm not you know those people couldn't take the time to make a little little they have enough time to make a YouTube video you can't have enough time to just show something to bring awareness to somebody of what is all going on. I'm not expect people to post all like what I did. I post something about those people that sacrificed. And they're not the only people who've done stuff like that. I just think like, it, I don't know what more to say because I'm like, I'm not upset right now about this. Well, that's basically what I have to share. I mean, I don't, I don't know what more to say if just that I'm like, I'm super frustrated right now and I think you guys should be too. I just don't like people like when there's something big going on and then acting like it's like, buy this, buy that. Look at me, go watch that. That's why I'm, I'm fed up with that part of the jet ski community that I, I don't I don't like it and I, I don't really want to be a part of this jet ski whatever you want to call it because I think it's totally fake I think it's just a bunch of fake people parading around saying whatever they want to have you watch them or go buy something or you know it's just it's just not right it's not right at all